What's up everybody, I'm Jason, this is Freebird Garage and we are reviewing the Olin shocks that I installed a couple of months ago. We are finally on the road. I got the adjustments where I want them. That's since we're on my way to work. We're gonna do the two parts now. We're gonna do the soft ride all the way to work and then we're gonna switch it to hard on the way back from work. So it's gonna be a quick flip of the video when you guys see it. The reason why I'm doing this because I was thinking about different roads to go with and this was probably the best way to do it of a road that I've known the most for day in and day out on this bike to tell the difference. So let's hop on it and get to it. All right, that plan did not work. Shortly after that intro was shot, coming home for going to work, it was a torrential downpour. It started off sprinkling like the news said, and of course it was wrong. It went full on hailstorm coming down. Not fun. At first I was like, well, I'll get through it. We'll talk about it. And so I did, but then it came down really hard. And that became a problem because we have lots of new construction here, as you guys can see. I'm trying to maneuver that, plus talk, and then on top of it, can't see. It wasn't a good combination. On top of it all, coming down here at 275, the fresh blacktop that they're making for this road of our highway, because Michigan so desperately needs goddamn new roads, coming down. Everyone locked up the brakes, so I did the same thing. Problem is, is that the rain, of course, everyone warns you, washes out the oils. I felt my back end started to go sideways, and at that point, I said, All right, I just need to make sure I get back or get to work safely and then readdress this situation that's going on here because that's not going to be fun telling you guys that my bike went sideways down the freeway instead. And of course, we got some traffic once this opens up. We'll begin again. All right, about the shocks previously. So on the bike, I used to have 13 and a half inch shocks. That was the stock sizing for the FXRSs. Now what I did was I moved up to a 14 and 1.25 or 14 and a quarter standard. There's a metric sizing on it because they're all in, they're Sweden, and of course they're different. So three quarters of an inch, I moved up in height. Longer travel is what I was looking for. I didn't want to go too tall and make it look all goofy in the rear end. I wanted just enough height to give me just enough length for the shock in the back to give you that proper travel. Obviously, taller shock, more travel means it can absorb more of the distribution going up and down, just simple geometry. But anyway, dampening right now, like I said, is completely on the soft side. And already, I'm in this heavy traffic area and going over these bumps, it's smooth. I mean, before this stuff would jolt me right there, I would, I would jump up and down right there. And then from there, it would just be a jostling ride. But now it is like going over each of these spots is smooth, except for this damn traffic here. All right, we're just gonna get ahead of traffic at this point. There we go. Yeah, baby. Hitting a lot of spots, a lot of the divots you see in the road, differences, height levels. I don't feel that. That's how much of a difference it is right now. And getting on it is a beautiful feeling because you just maneuver right through. And without doing that, that hesitation or that skip, you get sometimes the rear end with the difference of the highway. Sometimes you get that groove, and that groove will set your rear tire, and then you go and hop and kind of throws it a little bit. Overall, I haven't had one bump, jerk, straight shock into my back or neck, and it is fucking awesome. I love it. It doesn't ride like a blown out Cadillac going down the road, and it's all wavy and you're up and down. I'm talking smooth as in like silk. Like you're going over bumps right now, like all these little divots you hopefully you guys can see in the road. And that's what I am not feeling right now. It's awesome, people. Let's talk when we get to the exit and switch this to the hard side. Bam. All right, we are parked. We're about to switch over to the hardest settings on the shock right now, which I will adjust here. You can hear the clicks. I should count these, but anyways, I want to go all the way extreme, just like we were to the soft side. We're going to switch it to the hardest setting now. And another aspect of why I want to show you guys this was how much the bike actually leans with 14 and a quarter inch shocks. Some people talk about, or some riders when they have taller shocks, talk about how crazy the lean angle is and having to put extra block on their kickstand or the kickstand wearing out. So if you're ever wondering that, this is the lean angle of mine and I don't mind it. I'm not too scared to walk away where it's going to fall over. I'm pretty comfortable with how it leans. All right, let's get rolling. Just shifting alone, definitely tell the difference. 
of the back end doesn't want to squat as much. Now, why would you want to have the hardest setting on a shock? I'm sure many out there are like, I want the smoothest ride possible. I don't want to have a hard ass ride the whole way. Well, it's for a different style of riding. I'm sure that's obvious, but just to plain sight to know it, it's so that you really can have no rebound going in to certain riding positions and when you're cornering in particular. So that when you're diving down and getting on the gas off the start, it's not absorbing everything. When you're in the softest riding position and you get on the gas, your back end will just sink and absorbs all of that torque for you and make sure that it is soft and then you obviously take off. When it's hard and stiff like this, it's going to make it so that it is less absorbent and then, the, then what it's going to do is transfer it right to that rear wheel and then from there give you the shot of the hole that you're looking for. Stiff setting on this shock is night and day. I didn't think it was going to be that much of a difference on there. You know, you see a little bit how bad or how much can this dampening be and it feels like it is just completely tightened up the rear end from just adjusting that back there. I know I keep repeating myself on some of this, but it just wants to handle so well now in the rear, banking it. It's a whole new bike. I mean, people talk about that, switching the suspensions around on Harleys and how it just completely changes. It, it's true, it's, it feels awesome. The shack is just, that's just mind blowing. It's just, can't believe they changed that much by that much of a dampening. I know it sounds stupid, right? They offer you an option to make it a harder shock or a stiffer shock over the soft. And you think, well, how much could it really do? You know, sometimes I feel like you get the placebo effect. Sometimes you get a little bit of a change. Like, yeah, I guess I feel it. But this time, it is it is awesome i i like that it feels like i just switched out a different shack from when i was riding here on the work and the other way was completely soft on there and switching to the heart it just feels like it handles on rails on each of the spots i dig this i love it so my last thoughts on these shocks with the stiffness turned all the way up i feel like the back end sits proper now it feels like it doesn't sag at all it's held all the way through the corners i love it with the new chain conversion the saddleman seat to grab i mean this thing shits and gets i just switched it in a little bit more horsepower just to pack it all home man the next thing i gotta do on this it is time for some wheelies i have got to get this front end up this thing feels properly sat up now it's it's time people it's time i hope you all enjoyed my first impressions of the olin's hd 144 they are absolutely beautiful in my opinion i just need to do a long term review to see if i say the same thing around the next time that about wraps up for me on this one guys i would greatly appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button tap that like press the notification leave a comment below tell me what you think for those who've already subscribed thank you and as always stay free and i'll catch you guys later peace